guys, so the update is here, the new LTM, the Lost Treasure event is here and with updates to all of the characters, to most of the characters and this event that they have is shotguns and snipers with evo shields is so awesome, like I'm having so much fun with it. It's I don't know it's like scary and it's fun at the same time because it's scary in the sense because you know every single person has a sniper so I find myself running around the map being too afraid to stand still just in case some guy or some person has an accurate shot with a sentinel or a longbow or a Kraber any kind of sniper I'm just so afraid that they're gonna get that one single shot and I'm downed you know <laughs> instantly because it has happened to me in one of my games where I was just busy standing trying to look for enemies with my sniper and then all of a sudden I hear this noise I hear this noise this clunk noise and I realize I'm down on the ground and I'm like what the hell what just happened I don't even know where I got shot from but and also what I like about this new uh, like this event the shotguns and snipers is I'm not if you watch any of my videos I don't use shotguns much unless it's the peacekeeper then that's a whole other story. The Peacekeeper is another story. <laughs> I love using the Peacekeeper. But now that the Peacekeeper is a cap is a rare item and you can only find it in care packages, you don't just get it off the rip when you drop onto the ground. I don't really use shotguns anymore. I've you know there's the Mastiff, there's the Mozambique, there's the Eva eight. And I'm not a big I wasn't a big fan of the Master when it was a care package item. I'm not a big fan of it now that it's just a normal gun but this mode kind of makes me like you know push out of my boundaries of making me you know more f free about what I do and now that you know the Mastiff is a, the only other gun or an EVA is the only gun I can actually get <laughs> that's for close range I'm actually kind of enjoying the Mastiff I've been you know ripping I've been ripping it with the Mastiff. It is actually such a fun gun. If you can get your shots accurately, it is such a nice gun to actually use. It's just, it is hard to get your shots. You know, you gotta get that perfect shot with it. Then, you know, it's it's an amazing like shotgun. And I also, you know, I use snipers. I love snipers. Snipers are fun, especially in ranked. I always at least carry one sniper when I'm in ranked. I keep a you know a sniper and an SMG with me so but and my personal preference on snipers would be the longbow that is hands down my f most favorite gun even though it has so many attachments it takes long to assemble the like a proper longbow but it's still the best gun and leave in the comments below what you guys consider to be your favorite sniper because and your favorite shotguns if you like the Mastiff or you like the somehow you like the amazing beak with hammer points leave a comment and tell me about it but anyway so let's get back to talking about lifeline lifeline being now the new top tier legend being one of the best legends who got the most ultimate update with her drone to be able to revive a teammate is unreal it makes her like one of the closest to one of the best legends that you can get in the game now even because uh, you can be like fighting you know you have a normal battle and then if it's a 3v3 uh, one of your teammates get knocked down right? and then obviously that team is gonna push the second that your teammate gets knocked because they're obviously gonna go for the you know 3v2 but no and normally what happens is when that third when that team is rushing you one guy is trying to fight off three people while another one is trying to revive a down teammate and you just end up like really like it's hard to survive that like the chances of you surviving that is really not a <laughs> good chances you know but now with lifeline you can so you, your teammate will get down now that other team is gonna start rushing you your team your teammate is being revived right there while you and your other teammate are doing a heaven suppressor fire against that team and you can still pop your healing drone so the second he gets up you got your healing drone there he just has to pop a bat his health is full and then he's ready back in the fight so then it turns back into a 3v3 and then your odds are changed 
and may are changed, you know, and you have a higher chance of winning because you finally got your revile, <laughs> you got your teammate up, and they would not expect that. They expecting to rush uh, two guy, two people just standing there, and they gonna underestimate you and not gonna expect the third person just to rock out and from nowhere and just start popping, <laughs> you know. So I don't know. Her ability is extremely useful, and even to use like I, I've been using it a lot. Whenever I'm reviving a teammate, I'll use that little shield that the drone creates when it's busy reviving your teammate. I'll use that out in the open just to take some cover because if someone is shooting in my direction, I'm gonna just stand behind that thing. I can even heal while that thing is protecting me. So it just has so much advantages. It makes her such an amazing character. One of like, you know, just closely to one of the best legends now. I think she's going to be a top tier legend. In pubs, ranked, whatever you play, she is going to be the most helpful character in the game now because of her new ability. And, well, let's talk about what they did to my rave. <laughs> now, since I'm a rave main, this, I think this hurts. Like, you know, sh they hurt her so much. With this new thing here that now she has a full-on animation when she has to phase out. I don't know, it's, it hurt her so much now. Because before, if you had to go and rush someone, and then it gets too much, or it gets too much and they you need to get out of there, you got your phase. But now, your phase is one second more. Now that doesn't sound... Now, to be able to phase out, it's one second. Now that doesn't sound like a lot. But in the midst of a battle, in a gunfight, head to head, that one second is a second that saves your life. That in battle, that second makes the biggest difference. And I, at first, I also didn't think that you know one second, what's that gonna really do? Until I I climbed on a roof, just trying to see where the enemies are, because I didn't. I heard footsteps around me, but I just wanted to get high just to see what's happening. As I climbed up there. All three of the team, all three of that whole full team were standing on top there and all three of them started firing at me. And then I tried to phase out, but because of that delayed second, I actually got killed and knocked because of it. And I get why the, uh, why Respawn did it, because they say that they don't want Rave to have that, uh, what do you call it, um, X free get out of free jail card. They want her to be more recon. But if if you recon in ahead and you by accident you stumble on like I did onto three people just standing there, then that one second delay, how are you supposed to get out of that? Because you're supposed to be reconning. And now you can't get back to your teammates because that one second delay is down you. And then how is in your in your, none of the legends can get you out because you're a rave you're the only one who can portal a player out so now you're stuck there your teammates can't come get you because come getting you would mean rushing a full three squad and it's i don't know it's just it doesn't seem it seems hectic to do that to rave and i also get you know they did it so because rave is the most played legend and the most favorite and they want to shed some more light on other legends but they could have done it differently because <laughs> I don't know they just it hurt her you know <laughs> for those rave mains out they were all feeling the suffering now of how much they've broken that's one well, already broken she's still an over she's still a powerful character it's just I guess it's gonna take a whole new curve learning to figure out her new nerf now and you know find the balance with it which isn't gonna be easy it's gonna take a you know a whole new learning curve but yeah I guess it is what it is <laughs> and uh, I feel like they well <laughs> uh, uh respawn is just hurting Pathfinder more and more because now uh what's his name Revenant can uh, use his ability to shoot Pathfinder out of mid grapple. <laughs> Imagine that you're just busy grappling, trying to escape, and here comes Revenant, Revenant, and he just shoots his little ball of wonder at you, 
and you get shot out of mid air of your grapple. It's just your. It feels like respawn is hurting Pathfinder so much. Like he just seems to be getting kicked all the time. For the nicest, like legend, you know, he's the sweetest legend, and he just his ass is getting kicked constantly. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yes, and Revenant's new ability, that his ultimate, has no reach anymore. I haven't tried it out in a battle yet. I'm yet to try it and see how useful it can be to have no limit to how far you can run with his ultimate. I would like, I'm still yet to try it out and I think it will be pretty awesome. But I, I have, my friends have told me that his new ability his new ultimate to be able to have no limits on where you can how far you can run and still being the ultimate is pretty useful so that's pretty awesome so I see they're giving some raven and some love as well but yeah so I think that's all I have to say <laughs> and well I have a gameplay coming up next it was my first win on the new the new mode uh, the lost treasure and I know it's it wasn't the highest kill game, it wasn't the best best games, but it was my first win on the mode, so I thought it was uh, special to share because it was my first one. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope you leave a like and possibly subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in it, and I hope you have a good day. All right, cheers. Good eye, right, right. Yeah, there's definitely gonna bunker. <laughs> there's definitely gonna be people in bunker. There's always people in bunker. It's like the most populated place in the map is bunker, and it's the most hardest place to fight in. I don't get why people like to love fighting in bunker. Just check what's inside here. Oh, a fresh. Oh. <laughs> Blue Weaver. At least I don't have to work for that level. Just have to work for the rest. Let's see what else we got. Damn, there was a massive battle here. There were so many death boxes. There's a mobile respawn beacon here. You hear that? There's a care package coming down. There's a mobile respawn beacon here. Taking fire. I love letting this gun rip on automatic. Hey. Just spam the shotgun bullets. <laughs> I'm guessing he was the one who caused all of this death boxes up there. Thank you. Survive all of that just to die like this. That's not like a. <laughs> Has to be up there. I can hear the little monster in the cage making so much noise. I can't remember what that place is called, but hopefully everyone knows what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go. I thought so. Okay, come on, stop moving. Just stand still. Five seconds. <laughs> oh. Stop bloody moving so much. Oh. Okay, I 
I think let's yeah, let's move in for a little bit of a uh, let's go introduce ourselves. Shoot 20 shots and you hit one. There you go. <laughs> hey, they are moving way too much for me to get the shot. <laughs> okay, that hurt a lot. I got six bats, might as well use them all. kills from that. Alright. I uh, don't need that. Oh, there we go. Three salts. That will work. Okay. 
Oh, there's someone over there. Loud and clear, Hermana. Time to go. I need a hopper. That's <laughs> totally never the Scorpius this entire time. How long must I search for it? Yeah, someone's shooting all on top there. Let's go see. Give it a peacekeeper. I gotta go Weaver. Let's let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Hey! I'm just better. Oh my god. <laughs> you hit me with three shots, but you hit me a hitter on the same exact place on the rock. If it didn't hit the first two times, maybe you should adjust your aim if you hit the rock twice. Maybe the third time if you adjust it would hit me. But this is coming from the guy. What the hell? Oh! How quickly are you just standing there sniper of me for? Oh, okay. I just got solved, this is gonna take some time. <laughs> oh my gosh, the ribbon is disconnected. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When a player will just randomly disconnect. And you left with only just the two of you. Okay, we have to clean this up quickly, otherwise that second squad is gonna really come for us. We gotta be quick about this. I know exactly where that squad is. Hmm. I wonder why they haven't started pushing yet. What they're waiting for? Well, I still don't know where here. Oh yeah, that could actually be a possibility. We got the element of surprise here. Because I know exactly that they're coming from that side, but they don't know that we're standing right here. This could work. I think let's take some cover and let's see when they come around the corner. And there they are. Keep straving left and right. Yep, there we go. Okay. Alright, now. Yeah. Oh, they both rush. Okay, it's a full three. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you are the Apex Champions. Well, 
That wasn't too bad. Uh, not bad at all. 